Speaking to MSNBC's Nicole Wallace, Army veteran Christopher Goldsmith, who infiltrated the Three Percenters militia, described what he uncovered. Take a look at the MSNBC segment. So after the election, I was doing things that, that some other veterans were doing and, and joining these extremist organizations. Now, I was joining them because I wanted to know what they were planning. And uh, I joined the three percenters. And during the screening, uh, using a, a, you know basically my real profile as an Iraq veteran as a background, they were asking me questions about my weapon system, my secondary, meaning my, my handgun, uh, how I was prepared to use it, what I would do in different tactical scenarios. And they explicitly asked, and I made recordings of these because these people are idiots and they don't uh, see this kind of stuff coming. And they were explicitly asking, you know, would you kill someone from Antifa or Black Lives Matter if given the chance. And, and I wasn't, this wasn't an anomaly. I recorded a, a recruiting session of another veteran who was joining, I think, for legitimate reasons, or, well, their reasons, uh, the day prior. You know, and, and these are what my threat intelligence reports looked like in November. Uh, ahead of of this January 6th insurrection. There were other folks. You know, we've seen Ali Alexander, Alex Jones uh, get targeted by the January 6th uh, uh, committee. What we haven't seen is Nick Fuentes and the America First Pack, who were uh, literally riding in an armored, like, fake Humvee uh, all around the country. And practicing these insurrections at state capitals, trying to intimidate uh, members of those local legislators and of governors to overturn the election. And what we saw on January 6th was, again, it was, it was not a one-time event. It was not an anomaly that came out of nowhere. These folks planned it, and they did it out in the open. Uh, and their website hosts, they keep getting basically starting at, at square one. So my goal uh, and, and organizations like We the Veterans and Veterans for American Ideals and Human Rights First are to knock these people off center. They have gone unopposed uh, for years. You know, we've all been talking about, they've, they've been talking about these, this violence out in the open and nobody's done anything. Well, now it's, it's time to engage these people. And, you know, I'm not going to go out in the street with a weapon uh, dressing like I, I you know, did in Iraq because I'm not an idiot. I could do all this from my home, you know, and, and other veterans who are interested, I, I would encourage them to do the same. What we want to do is make these groups so paranoid that they can't function. And According to the Washington Post, Goldsmith has experienced homelessness, unemployment, alcohol addiction, social isolation, and attempted suicide. Once he recovered, Goldsmith realized that such darkness can leave veterans vulnerable to radicalization from anti-government groups promising fraternity around a shared embrace of extremist beliefs. While managing the social media accounts for Vietnam Veterans of America, an advocacy group, Goldsmith discovered a copycat page on Facebook. Before long, he had unearthed multiple sites targeting veterans specifically with divisive and what he saw as dangerous propaganda, and he wanted to fight back. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.